Okay, this is a, a sale, and it comprised of three aluminum plates, three graphite plates, and three um, electrolyte plates. And the electrolyte plates are made of a gel. And you put um, graphite, carbon, and choline chloride in it. Basically, you put that in between the plates like this. And you do add choline chloride solution to both sides. And it creates sort of like a, a glue, holds the, um, the cell together. It doesn't seem to evaporate very fast. <clears throat> These plates are four days old and they still hold and, uh, the current and voltage. I've charged this up for probably 30 seconds now at 5, let's see, 4.6 volts. And let's check the current and voltage now. Okay, it's dropping. Let's put it on here and let's see what the current is. Looks like about 200 milliamps. It's holding on a dead short there. Okay, let's take it off. And rebound to 1.9, 2 volts. And I also have a little motor here. Let's see what happens when I put the little motor on. It's a lot of air <laughs> now. Um, the steady of about what 80 milliamps. So that combination is a pretty good energy storage device. And here is the goo that um, it's the gel with a different chemicals. There's carbon, choline chloride, and graphite. Um, <clears throat> there is graphene oxide in this as well. And there's the plate. Pretty good wind coming off that little motor. I put a much larger fan motor on it. This will push a, a six volt, the big six volt motor. Uh, doesn't push it as long as this. <clears throat> this thing will run and run and run. 
but it's a tiny motor and it's only pulling what 60 to 80 let's see no 60 40 to 60 milliamps I said 80 earlier <clears throat> I was wrong it's really it, it dropped down to 60 and now it's down to 40 and here are the plates kind of calling this the jello energy device okay Jello energy device. <laughs> okay. We're out of here.